Hey all, this is Jacob, one of the J's of JL Acres. Uh, I wanted to show you a little bit of what we got going on this year. Welcome to 2022. Uh, I know I didn't really post anything last year too much. It was just a busy year and I got a new phone and all those things kind of interrupted uh, getting things posted to YouTube. But I want to show you at least one of the projects we're working on this year. Uh, and I'm going to explain it here in the tractor cab because it's kind of windy outside and I don't really know how well uh, you're going to be able to hear me. So we'll just have to see how that goes. So we've got a field here uh, that was, it's about 10 acres, and it was all planted into cereal rye last fall. Um, I'm thinking September uh, 20th, somewhere around that time. And uh, we took half the field and we mowed the rye and we um, wrapped it for the heifers for feed. The other half we let stand. Uh, we planted a variety called ND Gardener, I think is what the variety was this year. Uh, and so we're gonna take this field and we're gonna make it into strips. And uh, so there's gonna be four different tests that we're doing in this field. One, uh, one strip is gonna be just conventional till, uh, 30 inch row beans. Uh, this is all certified organic. Uh, another strip is gonna be drilled beans um, on seven and a half inch rows, uh, conventional tillage. Uh, also, I mean, this is all organic. And then uh, one half that's gonna be 30 inch rows, roller crimped and another row or uh, pass that's going to be seven and a half inch uh, into the standing rye and then that rye is all going to get roller crimped. So let me show you what we've got going on here um, and uh, we'll see how it's going. Okay you can see in front of me here uh, we've split the field so we've got this half here that was uh, rye. You can see we've got the bales already wrapped over there. They were mowed um, it was maybe a week ago we took it off. And then we've got the standing rye here. We'll go out and walk in it a little bit. You can see it's pretty windy. Uh, and I'm just splitting the field with a planter. I'm gonna do a couple passes on each side so we get some full width. And then we'll have to do a couple passes on each side of that. So a couple passes on the way end of that. A couple passes way on the end of that with the John Deere 750 drill. And so we're just gonna compare different methods of doing organic beans. Um, the 30 inch rows, you know, we can still come back and cultivate. The seven and a half inch rows, Rotary hoeing is going to be a, about our only option. We do have a weed zapper, um, so that's going to be to kind of rescue anything. But let's go out and take a look here at what we've got. Um, step away from the tractor a little bit. So my brother worked this field uh, just a couple hours ago with the disc. Um, I guess we'll maybe go back in the field. And I'll just tell you a little bit of history on the field towards the end. Uh, but you can see. You know, we've got some clumps like this. I I don't know if that's gonna cause us trouble or not. You know, there's maybe some weeds that are gonna grow. We, they are calling for half an inch rain tomorrow. We'll just have to see. Uh, so over here, we got the rye. And this is, um, I'd say you know, it's maybe not quite as tall as me. It's, it's a good five foot tall rye. And I think, let's see if you can see here, um, it is just barely starting to pollinate. Yeah, maybe you can see there. Just barely starting to pollinate. So we are a little bit on the early side. I'm not actually gonna be able to crimp this until it gets further into um, pollination, because if I crimp it now, it's not gonna die. It needs to be further into pollination. Uh, but just the way our schedule is going and everything, I was gonna plant it now, come back in about five days, hopefully it's further along in pollination, and then roller crimp. So. You can see here we are getting, we're getting down. There's already weeds started, so it'll be interesting when we, when we roll or crimp if if the weeds come through or not. Um, but it, it is closing the seed trench here, for the most part. There's a little gap there, uh, but this should be well shaded. I'm planting the beans uh, a good two inches deep, maybe a touch more. But we got a fairly fairly healthy rye stand here. Um, We've got uh, some of those pointy closing wheels on there. I'm planting the 30 inch rows at about 100 and, well, it's coming out about 150, 160 seeds per acre, which is a little bit low for what they recommend for doing this. Um, the drilled is gonna be closer to 200 uh, seeds an acre. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's what we've got going on here, just to try out some different methods of, um, of organic bean production. Just some experiments, side-by-side -side comparisons. Um, 
So this field last year was corn and it was chopped off before we went to the rye. The year before that it was oats with a cover crop that was grazed. I think the year before the oats it was corn. Um, so it, it's been a number of years since this was beans. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. So we'll get this planted here and I'll try to give you guys updates throughout the season on how this experiment's going. Okay, just a couple other things I thought of here. Um, somebody's probably gonna ask how was wrapping on the rye. Well, you can see the closing wheels actually did not wrap very badly. And, um, but the, um, I've got just some Martin row cleaners, pin style that were all the way up. And some of them wrapped and some of them didn't. So uh, that might be something to look into. I'm not quite sure why a couple of these rows wrapped worse than others. I think they were closer to the tires. Well, that one wouldn't have been, but like some of these by the uh, tractor would have been. Um, these are nothing special. This is just a John Deere 7000 row unit. I don't have any sort of coulter in front of these. Uh, I didn't do anything special to sharpen the blades. Um, I don't even have extra weight on these boxes. So uh, just bare bones, old style, 40 year old planter trying to plant into rye. So that's what we got going on here. Uh, hopefully a little bit later today I'll be able to hook up to the drill and finish putting in the rest of these beans.